The Titanic sub runs out of oxygen at 6 a.m. Eastern time on Thursday. That's the deadline rescue teams were racing towards to try and find the five people on board alive. Here's a timeline of events since the sub set off and the race by search teams to find it, according to the U.S. Coast Guard's estimates. This is an incredibly complex search operation. We're losing time and we're losing opportunity to find them alive. On Saturday evening, British billionaire and adventurer Hamish Harding, one of those aboard the submersible, post saying, a weather window has just opened up and we're going to attempt a dive tomorrow. He doesn't post on Facebook again. At 8 a.m. on Sunday, the Titan submersible begins its descent, triggering the 96-hour countdown, which is the window of oxygen supply the vessel has from the time it's sealed. It should be a two-hour descent to the wreck of the Titanic, which lies at a depth of 12,500 feet in the North Atlantic Ocean. But one hour and 45 minutes after setting off, communications between the sub and the surface vessel are lost. The submersible has been scheduled to return to the surface at 3 p.m., but it fails to appear. The Coast Guard is notified at 5.40 p.m. By Monday, U.S. and Canadian ships and planes are swarming the area, some dropping sonar buoys that can monitor to a depth of 13,000 feet. Search teams stress that this is a remote area and a challenge to conduct a search. Officials also ask commercial vessels for help. On Tuesday, more people on board are named. Pakistani-born businessman Shahzada Dawood and his 19-year-old son, Suleiman. Their family ask for prayers for their safety. Later on Tuesday, noises reported to be banging sounds are detected over several hours by a Canadian aircraft, which is equipped with gear to trace submarines. Reports suggest the banging sounds came at 30-minute intervals. Hamish Harding's friend says hopes are not high. As it stands right now, it would be a miracle if they are recovered alive. At 2 a.m. on Wednesday, the U.S. Coast Guard announces it's deploying remotely operated vehicle searches to the area where the sounds were detected. The data is also sent to U.S. Navy experts for analysis, while a French research ship equipped with a deep-sea diving vessel makes its way to the search area. The surface search is now approximately two times the size of Connecticut, and the subsurface search is up to two and a half miles deep exponentially expanding the size of the search area. 6 a.m. Eastern Time on Thursday the 22nd of June is the rough deadline for when the vessel's air will run out, according to its specifications. But experts say the air supply depends on a range of factors, including whether the sub still has power and how calm the people aboard have remained.